So this morning is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing with the next stage of this process. Uh, we've got uh, our geotextile down on the floor, which is creating our separation between the insulation hardcore. And then we're going to lay this geo grid over the top of this. That'll do two things. It'll provide some structural stability to the slab, so it'll act as a, a, a reinforcing. And it'll also provide an opportunity to put underfloor heating pipes onto the floor. I'd always encourage people to, if they're, whenever they're laying a floor, that they look at the opportunity to put underfloor heating in. I think it's a fabulous way of, of, of making use of the thermal mass, um, distributing the heat evenly throughout the floor, um, avoiding radiators. So it's a, it's a, it's a great opportunity to introduce low-grade heat into a building. Um, so we've got, uh, we've got a six metre barn and we've got a four metre rather geotext of uh, geogrid. So we're going to lay the geogrid, uh, we laid the geogrid out there and we're just going to, we've fold this, this in half, cut it down the middle and we'll now attach this to the geogrid that's in there. So you can see as, as a roll, um, it's, it's, uh, it's got a bit of tension in it, so it tries to keep, uh, keep in a roll. As you lay it out, it tends to keep trying to roll itself back up again. So simply unroll it, flip it over, and then put weights down on top of it to hold it into position. OK, so we've um, laid the geogrid. We've obviously got a bit of overlap here. Um, don't particularly like plastic involved in what we're doing anyway. So we're going to cut this out because this is wasteful, but um, Mike's going to use the grinder to snip through it. It's been an awful lot quicker. Right, so in the process of, um, of laying uh, the, the, the geo mesh and the geo grid and trafficking over it, um, you occasionally get um, bits of clay pour that then, then lift up and um, uh, pop out of their, their, their position. So it's worth um, just running over the floor just lightly once again with the, with the wacker plate. So, so you saw um, when we did the first compaction, this is um, an electric wacker. So it obviously doesn't have any, uh, any fumes um, and... Um, no motor noise, obviously you've got the noise of the, the, the compactor, um, but obviously really useful when you're working in a confined space that you don't have any, um, any emissions from it in the same way as we, we, um, we didn't have that with the digger as well. Mm -hmm. 